Hi everyone, I'm Virginia Dwan, also known as Mandarin Mama. I host a podcast called the Nuna Army Podcast where we discuss the particular aspects and challenges of being a middle-aged BTS fan. I'm the entertainment editor for Mochi Magazine as well as a freelance writer and the founder of Brazen Asian, an intimate series for Asian Pacific Islander and Desi American creatives and influencers. Today I will be reacting to Blackpink's Ice Cream featuring uh, Selena Gomez. And uh, I've heard, I saw the teaser. I didn't really like the teaser. Um, but in general, I tend to like Blackpink songs, so I'll probably like this song. Yeah, the reason why I didn't like the teaser, we'll see if it's still the case for the song itself. Um, but without further ado, so here we go. In your jeans like Billy. <sighs> That's not what Billy Jean's about. I I'm offended by that. <laughs> Even in the sun, you know I keep it icy. You could take a look, but it's a call to bite me. You're the one being chosen. Play the part like Moses. Keep it fresh like roses. Oh, I like this part. I really like Selena in general. I like her voice. And she looks really cute. But I don't think I like this song so far. Okay, I like this part the first time I heard it, but this is like the sixth time I've heard it in like a minute and a half. I don't like it that much. I do like Lisa a lot. She's my favorite. with the cream that's just gross oh that's the part in the teaser that I hated I I, uh, I hate it I don't like it <laughs> So before I get a bunch of, I mean, I'm sure you already are going to be like thumbs downing this video. Um, let me break it down. Why? I. <sighs> so visually, it's visually, you know what? They're very pretty. It's cute. It's got that retro like 50s vibes, like 50s, 60s pinup girl vibe, you know? Um, it's like 
trying to be cute and but really like a wink wink nod nod to the oh, 40s 50s not 60s 40s and 50s vibe of like the pinup girl um the like salaciousness of the ice cream if you haven't seen my reaction to WAP you should watch it because I feel like that's done well this is done <sighs> visually I think they're pretty they like I, I can't really quite explain why I hate this so much. First of all, because I feel like it should be good, right? It should be better than this. It should be, first of all, the song is just boring. Um, it's like the part that I liked, I liked, and then they repeated it like ad nauseum. So that's great, but you don't need to have this. It's, it, it's just, it's repetitive. It's, 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 ah, uh, and I'm actually angry. The reason why I'm angry is because it's not that I have a thing. You know, people always say like, people always think like, oh, you're hating on them because they're women. You're hating on them because they're like being, you know, sexual or whatever. And actually, that's not it at all. I have nothing wrong. I am pro-sex. I'm pro-sex positivity and I'm pro-women. What I dislike about this is that this entire, especially, it's actually epitomizes everything I hate about the truth about the teaser, which is the ending where I think it's Jenny going ice cream. And that epitomizes everything that I hate about this song. This song is geared to the male gaze. It is geared to what they, what they think men want, which is infantilized women who are like cheeky, coy, cute, but like still saying like sexually suggestive things. Um, it's, 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 it's like they're, they're, they're styled so young, but yet so sexual. They're so sexualized and yet so like skewed real young, if that makes sense. It's totally like the Lolita feel. It, it, it feels gross. Like this video feels gross. It feels like, like you know who it feels like should be, who would like this? It feels like they're geared towards like 50 to 60 year old white men who like little tiny Asian girls. That's what that video feels like. And that's why I find it so insulting. I find it insulting. It makes me angry. Like I'm on the verge of tears almost. That's how angry I am. It's, I feel slimy watching it. I feel like, why are we, this is 2020. Why are full grown women who are attractive and sexy and powerful and talented? Why are they catering to such shit people? Why are they catering to such like why are they why are they catering to men like that? Why are they catering to like why are they it's awful. Like you want to be sexual, you want to be sexy, you want to be awesome, you want to be like fucking badass? Be it. Don't be some like coy like oh ice cream. Oh, I want to buy like your bag of cream, which like it's revolting. Who wants a bag of cream? Um you know, or like these like really overused cliches of like licking your ice cream cone or whatever. You know, you want to talk about sex? You you put out a banger like WAP. You know who that's for? That's for women. That That is unapologetically for women. That whole video is for women. Yeah, it's sexy and if men enjoy it, that's fine. But that video, that video was catered to the female gaze. It was about empowering women. It wasn't about like making them sexy for men to like enjoy and consume. And I feel like that's exactly what this ice cream video is about. I'm so angry. I'm so mad. Um, I'm so mad. Like I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm livid, livid. It's, 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 it's disgusting. I feel like it's disgusting. I feel like it caters to like basest, grossest, like, like predatory and not in like a sexy predator way, but like in like a, in, in a yucky way. And it, it makes me very angry. So I don't, I don't even know if I can post this. I probably, I probably will because you know, fuck it. Um, but I, I'm, I'm angry. I'm physically angry and shaking. I'm I'm so mad that I, ha and I want, and I want to be clear. I want Blackpink to succeed. I want Selena to succeed. Even though I'm a BTS stan, I think that this world 
is capable of embracing multiple musical acts because how sad if there was only one musical act that's that's pathetic that's sad um I want women to own their sexuality. I want women to be confident and pretty. And if they want to be cute, be cute. I want them to be pretty and cute and however they feel attractive. But what makes me angry about this video, what upsets me, isn't that they're trying to be cute or whatever. It's that who they're catering to, who they're like, who the gay, it's, it seems empowering, but it's not, if that makes sense. It's, it feels like it should be empowering, but it's not. It's a lie because the whole entire thing is trying to please a man. It's trying to please the person, that, 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 you know, that boy, so that he can lick their ice cream cone or some stupid euphemism for oral. You know, like that, that's what makes me angry is that these girls have to be infantilized to ask for something that is theirs by right. They have to like turn into little baby girls and like be cuted up and like tarted up, but not in a way that's empowering, not in a way that they own it, but in a way that is owning them, that they're the ones being consumed versus they're the ones consuming. You, you, like, I feel like this whole video lacks agency and it's, that's what makes me angry and that millions of little girls are going to think that that's what being sexy is and that being sexy is actually catering to somebody else instead of being comfortable with who you are and your own skin and, and owning what you want and owning your desires and saying outright, like a grown up what you want sexually or otherwise. And I feel like this song is all about not those things. <sighs> Anyways, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.